Our first guest tonight is a multiple Emmy-winning performer who has talked, taunted, and tweeted herself into our enormous congealed hearts. She has a new talk show called Kathy, which you can watch on Bravo Thursday nights at 10 o'clock. Please say hello to Kathy Griffin. <laughs> You know, Gabby, I know, I know there's a whole, like, makeup thing that goes on. There's but a whole crisis backstage. <laughs> I was tacked into the dress. My boobs are falling out. I have no underwear on. Cross fingers. <laughs> what? When I went to kiss you, you moved your head so far away from my lips. I can't believe you tried to kiss my lips, which took, like, 20 minutes. You didn't try minutes. to kiss your lips. I tried to kiss I you. I'll do it again. Do I tried to kiss you on the cheek, but I wound That's up. That's close enough. That's close enough. I wound up kissing the back of your head or Look, something. you're lucky to get in at all. <laughs> I just got off a plane. I know, you just got in from Chicago. I just got in from Chicago, where I was the only person there accidentally at the NATO summit. Oh, yeah. Yes. So I wanted to talk to you because I know you're all in with Obama since you hosted the White House Correspondents' yeah, Dinner. Yeah, we're very tight. And, I, <laughs> and I, I am very dazzled by him, by the way. I am a Chicagoan, and I was laughing at how jaded the Chicagoans are. Like, they're not even proud about having the president there. They're like, eh, there's a lot of traffic because the president is here. <laughs> but it's very exciting. And um, I actually was there on tour, so I was playing, like, my Michigan casino circuit. And so I'm the only person that went there, like, what's with the motorcades and the flags? I sure love America. And then I went to my hotel, and there was security everywhere and tons of cops. Oh. There was um, a metal detector to just go to the elevator. So I found out that um, there were a bunch of dignitaries staying at my hotel, and one of them was Hamid Karzai, the president oh. of Afghanistan. Afghanistan, yeah. Yes, who was very controversial uh, yeah and single no. <laughs> <laughs> what a couple that would be I... that would be the greatest couple but he could ever. kiss me because i would have that burqa and he would never ruin my lipstick yeah. like you tried to <laughs> um, so anyway i was very excited to be there and even be anywhere near the president i mean you it's got to be exciting just to sort of be around him right yeah it was cool president. yeah it was don't get sure. all hassle back on me be cool <laughs> um so so anyway, I would go and do my shows and come home at night and go through the metal detector and stuff. And I thought it was sort of funny, the irony of being there in the middle of the NATO summit. Although I thought it was a bad choice on the president's part to have it the same day as Cher's birthday. Am I right? <laughs> How are you going to settle anything yeah, when yeah. you're trying to celebrate Cher's birthday and then trying to make world peace? It didn't work for me in my gaze, but I don't know about yours. <laughs> um, Mine were upset by it, too. Oh, you know? tell me about yeah. it. They <laughs> me all day on my Twitter. So... <laughs> I still thought it was an opportunity for fun. And so um, I did my show, and then I went back that night to the hotel, like I said, where Karzai was staying. And um, I brought a picture because I found out this is, you know, you're not supposed to make jokes with the Secret Service because they're very serious with their earpiece. Um, <laughs> did you make jokes around them? I did, and they didn't think they were funny. No. Yeah. They, no. Well, they're not there to laugh. That's not their job. Yeah. yeah. So um, I was going to one of my shows, and all the Secret Service got in, and some dignitary from, I don't know, Europea. I don't know. And, um, <laughs> And then I go, what's going on tonight? Big Streisand concert? And <laughs> nobody laughed. But when I went back to my when I went back to my hotel, I took this for you. Okay. This is what they don't think is funny when you go through the metal detector after your show. When you go through like this, here you hold it up. Okay. And you're wearing your tired hooker concert t-shirt. <laughs> so just know that I was in the elevator with Who are the guys in the back? Oh, that I took that hilarious photo for you. And so they want to be like blurred and stuff. And oh, it's a really? matter of security, whatever. They're cool. And, um, <laughs> and then right after me, by the way, no joke, in line at the metal detector of my hotel was Mike Love from the Beach Boys. Really? It was a crazy summit. We solved everything. <laughs> All right, so then, then later on, uh, well, I wanted to hear, I saw this photo of you and your bestie, Obama. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, that is me. Which incensed me. Uh, so, yeah, oh, go ahead. Uh, that's a cool photo, yeah, so, but I think photo. I can top it. Oh, you so, do? So, oh. there at the NATO summit, my work is never done, I ran into... Um, <laughs> I ran into Amr Karzai and I ran 
to the president. I was like, guys, let's work this out. And so you can see <laughs> that I work things out. And it's about building bridges, Jimmy. Yeah. It's not about tearing He looks down. like a magician, but this is clear. Where did you get, how did you do I this? I ran into them in the lobby. Is this and are you questioning or did you my, have cutouts? You are questioning. <laughs> All right, fine. I haven't learned the Photoshop like the kids. <laughs> but I still want you to believe it. You did a pretty good job with it, well, I have I to say. Yeah. I do love I do love diplomacy. You are originally what part of Chicago are you from? I'm from uh, Forest Park and then Oak Park. Forest Park and yeah. Oak Park, so you're a child of the parks. Yeah, but I will tell you that even when I play the Chicago area, I still fear for my life because your new best friend, and we're going to talk about this, how you've turned on me, Oprah, <laughs> which is such <laughs> that you're friends with Oprah now. I mean, why don't you put a dollar sign on your head and go sell yourself at the corner kiosk at Hollywood Highland while you're at it? Let me just, just for, just for memory's sake, didn't you have, didn't you go on a date with Levi Johnston or something like that? How dare you <laughs> question my relationship of a sexual nature with Levi Johnston? How <laughs> dare you? I almost spanked myself for a minute. Like, I almost went naughty. Why are you scared of Oprah? I, I'm scared of Oprah because I feel that um, she and Ryan Seacrest are trying to kill me. <laughs> yes. And I feel that not if, but when I show up slain in my Hollywood Hills home, that mm -hmm. you should go to Oprah's house first and then Ryan Seacrest's house. I will do that. Oh, you probably have the keys. You probably have the keys to Oprah. She's so <laughs> close to there. So tight with Oprah. I think so. If you feel like if you put it out there, then you're protected. Because if Oprah's the well, prime suspect in your murder... I'm just telling America <laughs> that if anything happens to me, a wayward, you know, bottle or something, or certainly a gunshot, go to Oprah's house <laughs> or ask Gail. Gail's going to have all the secrets. What about Ryan? Do you think Ryan genuinely dislikes you? I believe Ryan Seacrest is trying to kill me, yes. Why do you say I that? I believe he's trying to kill America uh -huh. one Kardashian at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You might be right about that. Well, Have you been keeping up with the Kardashians? I, I can barely keep up with the Kardashians, especially when they take cities. So, you know, Kim and Courtney took Miami, and then they took New York. <laughs> they're going to take, you know, Thousand Oaks next. I don't know what they're going to take. <laughs> Give them a city, and they'll take it, or that one will it. And so... <laughs> suspicious about this Kim and Kanye thing. You are. I will tell you right to your face. Oh, I really? am suspicious. Well, you know I what? smell a rat. Let's take a quick break and we come back. But we I'm will talk them. about your suspicions okay. and your new talk show called Cabby. Oh, that's Kathy right. Griffin is there. Good morning, Kathy, when you come back. Too. Kathy Griffin is here. Kathy. This dress is too short. I feel like one of the freaking housewives. <laughs> um, okay, so tell them what you yeah. told me during the commercial break. What did I tell you during you, the commercial break? Say it. Say it. Oh, Don't well, be first afraid. I want to ask you about your suspicions about Kim and Kanye. Okay, well, first of all, I. I um, think that that is just a photo op, and I know a photo op when I see one. I don't get what's in it for Kanye, because I still think Kanye is sort of legit. Although, let me tell you, I would have killed to be Taylor Swift in that moment where he went up. She should send him a muffin basket for life, <laughs> because she could, like, kill puppies on C-SPAN and be like, oh, but remember the time he bummed Oh, I love her. And she's a little whiny for my taste. You don't taste. think it's real? You don't think their relationship is real? I don't. I don't know what is real anymore. I try to keep up with the Kardashians. I feel bad for Lamar. I feel like Chloe physically injures him when they make love. <laughs> Lamar, like, he walks out of those bedroom scenes like, ow, that one hurts. I'm, I'm suspicious of all the Kardashians. Now, what about your new te your new television show? It's yes, a talk show. but tell them what you said in the commercial break. What did I say? You said that you would come on my talk show of course I anytime would. I wanted, but of what course. I'm here to tell you is that you're not invited. Thank you. Thank you. Now, here's why. Here's why. Why am I because not invited? Because I am not having celebrities on my show. I think that when I have civilians, people that don't know any better, uh -huh. then they're more likely to really talk smack about celebrities and stuff. And I feel like celebrities, you know, you're friends with celebrities. And so you know how you're always afraid to come to my parties? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm afraid of you. It's not, I'm not afraid of anyone but you. Because I'm afraid that I'm afraid that my true activities will be revealed. Well, you could make the act at any time. I would love it if you would come on I my know, show. I know, that's why. I oh, I, on the show, yes. I, I really would. I would yeah. love it. But I do sort of like 
like the idea of just talking to regular people, are although gonna, I have created a monster. What? Well, are you going to pull people off the street, or where are you getting these people? Sometimes I will. Well, as oh. a matter of fact, for this week, I have something in mind. Really? With audience members that I guess I shouldn't have said right now. Okay, all right. I'm just saying, if you're coming yeah. to the taping of the Kathy show, just put on some powder. Yeah, look good. <laughs> look good. Your mom is going to be a part of the well, show. Well, I created a monster, because my 91-year-old alcoholic mother, Maggie, uh -huh. is a nightmare. <laughs> She's a nightmare. She's in hair and makeup longer than I am. She's drunk half the time. And so, you know, we tape a little long because I swear so much that they have to keep taping and taping uh -huh. until I get less offensive and it takes hours. <laughs> and, um, and so my mom gets like hammered and she passes out sometimes. Does she really? Yeah, but it's, it's great. She's 91. What the heck? Yeah, really. How about the heck with the camera and the wink? And is she on stage with you? She can't walk that far, Jimmy. <laughs> no, she does actually bring her walker. Um, I'm trying to get her into a rascal, which is my dream, by the way. Yeah. My dream, by the way, is to like gain like 600 pounds and be one of those fat people on TLC yeah. and just ride around on a rascal and just eat fried food and blame everyone else. Yeah, yeah. I know the I'm rascal. Sorry, I digress. But the rascal the is super it's attractive. Very yes. appealing. Or an yeah. airport, and I want to get a jitterbug with those big buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so I can read the phone well, and then a life alert. Things go well with this talk show. You can have it all. You can you have so? all you of those things. You think so? You think they'll buy me a rascal? I have a feeling they will. I hope so. <laughs> You'll be up to your ears in jitterbugs. I know. Well, it's great to see you. It's Best of luck with the new show. Kathy Griffin, the delightful Kathy Griffin. The new show is called Kathy. Watch it Thursday nights at 10 o'clock on Bravo. We'll be right back.